first product I'm going to be using today is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. This is going to act as my primer. And I'm just going to take this from my fingers and just blend into my skin. I have been out in the sun a lot lately, so my skin's starting to peel a little bit, which is not very good. So I tried to exfoliate last night and get it all off, so hopefully my nose doesn't do that weird flaky thing today. I'm just going to leave that to sink into the skin just for a couple of minutes. So today I wanted to play around with a bit of colour, so I think I'm going to go for purple today because I haven't done that one in a while. I'm going to be taking the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, which is my favourite eye primer, and I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush for this. And I'm just going to go right over the eyelid and just buff this in. I'm kind of like patting and swiping it on. And making sure I cover the whole lid all the way up to the brow bone. I'm also going to bring this underneath the lower lash line. This is the Elamasca eyeshadow in Inception, which is a really pretty matte pigmented shadow. So basically with the fluffy brush, I'm just going to keep it in the crease all the way around. It does look a bit messy at first. And then bring it round. And then blend on the outer outer half of my lid and I'm kind of patting it on I like to place the colour down first with that fluffy brush and then with a clean brush just buff and blend that edge just a little bit because I do want it to still be visible and pigmented but I just want it to look a bit more softer and not so harsh lines. So I'm just gonna go in and very gently blend. But if you do buff it too much, you can go back in with the color. And then going back in with the same brush again and picking up that color, I'm gonna kind of stamp it back on. And it's working in layers so that you get the color pigmentation and the payoff that you want. But also that blending that you need as well. So it's kind of like a mixture of layers. I am bringing the purple into the inner corner of the eye as well, but I'm blending that the most right there. Next I'm taking my concealer and this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one is in the shade Porcelain and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Oh no. Oh my god, where did that go? <gasps> no. I have a fabric bed and it's gone on the fabric bed. So I put some on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush and pick some up. And then with this, I'm going to cut the crease. So I'm just gonna put this on the lid and then I'm gonna look up as far as I can, side to side, and then that's the highest part where you want your cut crease to go. And then you just wanna follow that all the way around. Wiping the excess off the brush and just going to buff the edge there so it's not so harsh and it's just more of a faded line. So that's the cut crease half done. Today's probably not the best day to do makeup because I'm actually going to the gym soon with Sarah but today's my only day I can film so oh well I'm going to the gym with makeup today. And then taking the same brush I'm going to go into my Urban Decay palette. This is just a build your own one so you can basically buy this as an empty tin and then put your own shadows in and make it like a custom palette. So I've only got three in so far but I'm going to go in with this colour here and I believe this is called Tonic. Yeah, I believe. I don't want to pop it out because it takes a while but I will put the name of it on the screen and I'm just going to pick this up with a flat eyeshadow brush. And then I'm going to put that all over the concealer. And just really pat this in and make sure you press that into the concealer. It's like a duochrome shadow. So in certain lights it looks purple and in others it looks blue. So I think this looks really pretty with a purple cut crease. And then on top of that shadow we just used, I'm going to put this on top, which is the Essence Crystal Liner. And this is in Rosy Rush. So it's like a pinky purple duochrome liner. And I'm just going to pop this all over the top. It has such a beautiful shimmer. And 
and then leave your eyes shut and allow that to dry. So I'm taking the tiniest amount of that hot pink called Star Power and this is in the Jeffree Star Beauty Colour Palette and I'm going over the edge. I'm just going to pat it on just to see if I like it. Yeah I do. I'm going to go over that a little bit. So in the same palette I'm going to take this shade here which is called Violence, this really beautiful purple shimmery colour and this is going to go over the line where the concealer and the purple meet so right here just to blend it a little bit so i'm patting this on just slightly over the edge and then last but not least in the same palette i'm going to go in with black rainbow this one i really do like but the rainbow glitter doesn't really show up for me it's just more like a black shadow so i'm going to take this very very small amount tiny bit and then really pat this off and this is going to go on the outer corner of the lid. I'm just kind of stamping it as you can see. Just a little bit. And kind of bring it up, but the tiniest amount. So that is that eye done so far. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same steps on this eye, and then I'll come straight back. Next, I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. And I'm just going to take an angled brush with a spoolie and use this for my brows. And then I'm going to just fill in my brows. Fill them in however you want, it's your total preference. And then as for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is my holy grail, but I literally, I'm so close to running out, as you can see, it's got all the way up to here, and it's, it's really, really low. So what I'm gonna to have to do is take it off the pump, because I can't get any more out through the pump, but there's a tiny bit at the top there. So I'm just gonna use like a, um, the end of a brush to scoop it out. The thing with this, it's so full coverage, you don't need that much. So I'm taking my sponge, this is the Real Techniques one, and I'm just going to pat and blend this into the skin. I like using this foundation with a sponge because it is so pigmented. This just kind of dilutes it down a little bit and looks a little bit more wearable. Sorry if you can hear a buzzing noise. I've got a really annoying fly in this room and it will not leave. So you might hear a little bit of a buzzing noise. <laughs> I just spent two minutes chasing it around the room, trying to get out the window, it won't leave. <laughs> Next, I'm moving on to a powder, and I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fix Me Powder. This one is 120 Classic Ivory. Next, I'm moving on to the NARS Laguna Bronzer, and I'm gonna take the Real Techniques Contour Brush. And then for blush, I'm taking the Max Blush in Dame, which is a satin finish, and it's like a light pinky colour, and this is going to go on the apples of my cheeks. I'm taking an angled brush, and I'm just going to go onto the apples of the cheeks and then bring it back into the hairline. Whilst we're on skin, I might as well continue with the skin. So I'm going to go on to highlight now, and I'm going to use a liquid with a powder. Just to emphasise my highlighter and make it really, really shiny today, because I've already gone full glam, so I might as well go even further. And I'm going to be taking the Benefits High Beam. And because I have set the foundation, usually you're not supposed to mix liquids with matte, but if you just put it on as a stripe, it's not going to blend out because it's going to stick to that position. So what I do is I like apply some on the back of my hand and then using the very tip of a sponge, pick it up and then just pat it and blend very, very quickly onto the cheekbone. You've got to do it really quick because if you, if you miss a step or you don't blend it as fast, it's going to go patchy and weird. So I'm just patting that on and if you do it in a patting motion, you're not going to pull up the foundation. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Beaming Blush. So it's like a peachy gold. It's so stunning. And I'm going to take a fan brush for this. And then back and forth over the top. Wow. It is very, very glowy. 
And then with whatever's left, I'm just gonna put this onto the tip of my nose. Okay, so while I'm at this stage, I'm gonna use the same highlighter from MAC with a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna put this on my brow bone. For that extra shine, it's really, really pretty. Moving on to this eyeshadow now from MAC. This is the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow Smoky Mauve. And it's a mauve purple. It's absolutely stunning with a really beautiful shine. This is going to go underneath the lower lash line, only halfway. Then in the outer corner, I'm going to smoke it out a little bit more with the darker purple. And place this underneath the lower lash line. I'm going back to the Beauty Colour Palette. And I'm going to take the colour... Vanity, which is this dark matte purple, and then connect this up to the top eyeshadow so it all flows together beautifully and blends. Next, I'm using the Makeup Revolution eyeliner pencil, and this one is called Worth It, and it's a beautiful bronzy purple shade, it's stunning, and this is going to go on the waterline. Next I'm moving on to the MAC False Lashes Mascara and I'm going to apply this to the top and the lower lashes. Whilst the mascara is drying I'm going to move on to the lip liner and this is the MAC lip liner in the colour Strip Down which is my favourite lip liner from MAC and I'm just going to outline my lips. Then I'm going to fill in my lips using the MAC lipstick in Brave which is a satin finish. And then going back to the lip pencil and just blend the edges in. But these are the So Su Suzanne Jackson Alex ones and these are the 100% human hair lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these in. So this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really love the way it turned out. It's really cute and glam and girly and it's just really, really pretty. I love the little liquid liner we put on top to make it look glossy and shiny. It's stunning. So I really do hope that you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.